Okay, in today's Wiser Joomla video tutorial, we're going to do a basic Joomla installation from scratch, and we're going to do it in under 10 minutes. Now, our test bed here is a hosting panel uh, that we use through HostGator, and it's called cPanel. Most likely, your hosting company also provides you with cPanel or something similar, but we're definitely going to need some of these tools that your hosting provider uh, offers you. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to download Joomla. So here's the Joomla.org site. If you go to the home page, over here on the right it says download and get the latest version of Joomla. And here it is, it's a zip file and we're going to go ahead and download that. You can see I've already done it. So once we've downloaded our installation file, we come back to our cPanel and we're going to go to the file manager. Once we're here, we want to click into public HTML and make sure that it's all cleaned up. And there it is. So there's really no files here that are going to bother us, a couple of directories an HD access file. If that's there, you can leave it. And so what we want to do now is go to the upload button in our file manager. And we want to browse to that zip file that we just downloaded, the Joomla 1.5.20, and we want to upload it as a zip file. Now while we're waiting for that, let's go back to the control panel and let's scroll down until you see MySQL database. We need to create a database for our Joomla installation. So we'll call it ABC1, Create Database. Now we need to create a user. So if you scroll down, New User, we'll call it XYZ1. And most control panels offer a password generator and you definitely want to use that. This will keep things safe for you or from hackers. And of course we always want to store this information as we go along. So we can just type password here. Okay, so now we create the user and the third step is to add that user to that database. So if we scroll down here, user XYZ1 and database ABC1 and we click add. Now here's the nice thing about cPanel is it does, a, it does my work for me for my log. It lists the username in full and the database name in full. So I'm going to copy this go back to my log, paste it in, and I'm going to put these in order. Okay, so now we've got a username, a password, and a database name. And here we want to give this user all privileges for that database. So our database is now finished, and if we come over here you'll see our zip file which is six over six and a half megabytes that's been uploaded so now I'm gonna go back to my file manager and I need to hit refresh and here is the file we uploaded it's the full package zip I'm gonna select it I'm gonna go up to the top here and choose the extract button make sure I'm extracting it to the correct directory which is public HTML and perform the extraction and there it is. So you can see it inflated all of these files that we need to install Joomla. Now we're going to go back to our URL where we've set up all these files and we're going to hit refresh. And the first page we're going to come to is select your language, English in my case. Second page is a check of your PHP settings and you can you can get some good information here 
as far as w what are the optimal settings for Joomla. These ones up top are critical. They have to be set to yes. These ones down below are recommended. Uh, and I seem to have green all the way up and down, which is great. If one or two of these are red, it's all right. It's not going to cause your Joomla to function improperly. Click Next. It'll be the license. Joomla, as you know, is open source and free to use. So you don't even have to agree. You just click Next. Okay, here's the SQL. So we're going to put in localhost as the host. That's 90% of the time that's the case. And now we'll go back to our log file. We're going to grab our username, carefully copying it and not going beyond the letters because we don't want any white spaces. Username, password, and the database name. You can see that's why I put it in that order. And then we click Next. And it's going to offer us to set up an FTP user. We're going to skip that. And here we're going to give the website a name. All of these can be changed later. But you do need to put in your email. This will be the email of the administrator. And here's the password. So we need to put a strong password for our site. I've got one stored here. And I'm going to make sure that we know in my log file that the username will be admin and the password is there. Okay. Here's an option to install sample data. This is not critical to do. Here you would load a migration script if you were upgrading from a 1.0 uh, Joomla site. Let's go ahead and install the sample data. And that's installed successfully. We click Next and we're done. There's one more step, which is a safety precaution. We want to go back to our file manager and we want to find our the directory called installation and we want to get rid of that. So just delete it all together. Now we, if we come back here we're going to go to the admin panel. Up here you can go straight to the site or to the administration panel. And we know the username is admin. And the last thing I copied was the password. So let's log in. Here's our administrator control panel. Everything seems to be in order. Let's go ahead and go to the front end. Click preview. And there's our Joomla site with all the sample data. And we can just test it out a little bit, make sure everything's working. So there is a Joomla installation in under 10 minutes. Now we're ready to get to work.